So, so one of the ways that the brain literally rewires itself, the brain literally changes in response to your mind, you know, out with the placebo effect. So we know from placebo effect categorically that when you expect a drug to work or you expect something to happen or that you believe it, that causes chemical changes in the brain. But what about more physical, longer lasting changes? Well, they occur as well through imagination or, or what you might call visualization or mental imagery. And we know that from lots of research, but one of the best piece that I, I love is was it's affectionately known as the piano study led by a professor called Alvaro Pascal Leon at Harvard and he got a group of volunteers to play five notes on a piano so like plunk 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 up and down a scale five notes for two hours on five consecutive days now sounds quite a lot but you're not doing two hours constantly you, you know plunk the notes take a wee rest plunk the notes take a wee rest kind of thing but you're doing it for two hours on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So scanned the brain every day and found that the region connected to the finger muscles had increased in size. And if you look at it, you can see it's about 30 to 40 times increase in, in size. We now know that phenomena is called neuroplasticity. But so you'd see this massive increase in, in size. But a separate group of people, instead of playing the notes with the fingers, played the notes with their mind. So they imagined playing the notes. So instead of going plunk, plunk, plunk with the five fingers, they closed their eyes, hands on the table, and imagine you're going plunk, 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 plunk. And what they had to do was imagine as clear as they can. Imagine the feeling as if you're really doing it. We call that now kinesthetic imagery. You imagine the feeling as if you're really doing it. Imagine what that feels like, the, the physical movement of the fingers. And they also had their brain scanned at the end of the five days. And amazingly, it's exactly the same. If you look at the two brain scans side by side, you cannot actually tell the difference between the, and the brain changes between the people who played the notes and those who imagined playing the notes. They used a technique at that point called transcranial magnetic stimulation to literally see the difference, the activity difference. But now we know that that is neuroplasticity occurs. The brain physically rewires itself in response to something you're imagining.